Many astronomers and stargazers find the full moon a nuisance, as the bright lunar glare drowns out the view of deep sky objects. And even if the moon is your chosen observing target, many argue that features on the moon like craters and lunar maria are better seen during the lunar phases. The full moon has been important to many cultures throughout history and around the world, and it's still important to many today. Whether you're tracking the full moon for gardening, stargazing, wellness, or something else, our guide has you covered with everything you need to know, including insights into ancient moon gods, astrology, and ways to celebrate the full moon. When is the next full moon? May's full flower moon reaches peak illumination on Monday, May 12th. May's full moon is a micro moon, which is a full moon that occurs when the moon is near its furthest point from Earth in its current orbit. A micro moon is the opposite of a supermoon which rises when the full moon is at its closest point to Earth in a given orbit. Just like April's pink micromoon, May's flower micromoon will appear slightly smaller in the sky than usual. The flower moon is so named for the many flowers that bloom this time of year in the northern hemisphere. The activities of animals mark spring's arrival, too, which is highlighted by the Cree names egg-laying moon and frog moon, as well as the Aglala term moon of the shedding ponies. All three names indicate that warmer weather is on the way. The full moon means many things to many people, and has been a time of significance and symbolism for thousands of years. From supermoons to seasonal rituals, mindfulness to gardening, these lunar phases can provide inspiration for everyone, whether you're a casual observer or deeply connected to lunar cycles. The full moon has been important to many cultures throughout history and around the world, and it's still important to many today.